I see critical limb ischemia patients quite often, and we're seeing more and more critical limb ischemia patients as the patient population ages. So personally, I am highly interested in limb salvage and peripheral arterial disease. If you use the wrong tool, you have worse outcomes. So in a worst case scenario, you can use an atherectomy device and end up hastening limb loss. So matching the right device to the right lesion minimizes the complications and really optimizes your outcomes. One of the problems with angioplasty of the tibial arteries is if you use an oversized balloon in that small tibial artery, it may dissect, it may rip, it may embolize. The nice part about the lithotripsy balloon is that it's using the shock waves to disturb the calcium and not the pressure and the size of the balloon. And so you can inflate a balloon at a lower pressure and not cause arterial wall or stretch injury. So the S4 catheter is a lithotripsy balloon that is designed specifically to reach the baloney arteries and is a small enough diameter so that you can actively treat the tibioperitoneal trunk and below. My experience with the S4 is that it is able to specifically target heavily calcified eccentric lesions and you're able to use it to help navigate into the most distal part of the tibial arteries and then really break up the calcium. The interesting thing about the lithotripsy is that it penetrates deep into the walls of the artery and treats the deeper calcium, the medial calcinosis, much better. The technology of lithotripsy itself has really been a step forward and every iteration that comes out is better and it will continue to get better and we'll find more and more applications to use it.